What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video your girl is here to bring you another 3 Looks 1 palette and this one I am going to be doing for my Caladios Lunar Lavender palette. Now I have really been enjoying this palette um, since my first impressions and I figured I wanted to challenge myself and challenge the palette overall and do a multiple palette look with this baby. So this is the first look that I'm going to create um, and there's going to be two more. I am just going to go ahead and swatch these very very quickly because I realized I did not swatch these in my first impression. I don't even think I swatched them for my Instagram. I may have. I don't really know. So I wanted to go ahead and swatch them for you guys right now just in case. So there are names but honestly I've already messed up the the um piece of paper so I'm not sure that the names I, the way I've been putting it back in that paper has been valid so we're just gonna swatch them um, and hopefully you guys just know which is which there are four mattes and two shimmers which is not my favorite um, arrangement but at the same time I prefer there to be more mattes and shimmers in my palettes and this is what it looks like so like I said, you get the three, the, the four mattes, you get the two shimmers. This one shimmer right here is a duochrome. It's a blue to purple shift. This one is just a light iridescent -y purple. And the other four are just cool tone purples. You get two actual or cool tone shades. You get two actual purple shades and then you get two cool tone browns. So overall, I think this palette is very aesthetically pleasing, very cohesive. It really does work with this because you get the blues from the duochrome. Um, so overall, I really enjoy this palette um, so far. I will give you guys my full, full thoughts at the end of this video. But if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, let's get to it. Hey guys, so I wanted to go ahead and do a multi-look video for you guys. And of course, as you guys saw in the intro, I'm going to be using my Caladios Lavender palette. Um, sorry if my emotions are super chiller than normal. I'm a quite bit perturbed because I just tried to buy the Butte Bean collaboration with Shroud Cosmetics. I put it in my cart twice and while it was in my cart both times it was sold to other people <sighs> anyways we're gonna go ahead and prime my eyes I literally never had that happen to me and I feel as though there have been enough times that, that has happened in the beauty community that brands should know once the product is in somebody's cart, you should not take it out. I was on the website since 12 or er, 11:50. It released at 12 o'clock. I was oh. oh, let's keep going. Okay, so we're going to go in with this first brownie-ish shade. And this is going to be my transition shade for this look. What I love about this shade is it is very light. But it also is so cool toned that it really starts to build the crease and build dimension in the eye look um, that you honestly wouldn't think would happen unless you actually see it on your eyes. So I'm super, super happy about that. And I just really just blend her all out. Then we're going to go into the other brown shade in this palette. And now I want to deepen out this whole crease now.
So super basic crease um, today. I didn't want to do too, too much. But what I did then is I took a flat, I took a flat brush um, and I just put some NYX glitter glue on there. I've been using my NYX glitter glue a lot more lately. One, because I think it just overall helps all the shimmers, regardless if they're good or bad, to start off with. And then also just because I have the product and I want to get my use out of it. I don't want it to just sit in my collection. So that is another reason. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and cut this lid. Okay, and then we're going to go into the blue-purple duochrome. And we are going to apply that all over the lid. And as always, I'm just going to go back and forth between the metallic and the matte just to make sure that they blend good. And for this look, I actually really just stuck with this one metallic. I took it into my inner corner and I also brought it at the very front of my lower lash line. And once again, like I said, we're just going to blender out with that darker blue and all I need to do now is just do a really close line with my liquid liner put on my waterline color tight line do all that jazz and I will be back to show you guys my finished first look all right you guys so this is the finished look And yeah, this is the finished look. Um, this is gonna be the first look that I do. I think I'm gonna try and figure out a way to do two more looks with this palette um, because I just wanna get my full, full thoughts. I feel like I had my full thoughts after the first um, trying of this and my thoughts have not changed, but I would like to see what other cool looks I can create. So stay tuned for two more looks with this palette. Hey guys, so I'm here to do look number two. I've already pretty much done my base overall and I've already um, sculpted my brow with my MAC paint pot and I've also already primed my eye with my Playing in Makeup by Yolando eyeshadow primer in the shade E. Now I'm just gonna hop on in. As you can see, I've already done one eye and I'm just gonna show you guys how I did it. So first I went into the more vibrant, deeper, richer purple. And I just really packed her on in my transition and really in my crease area. I just really wanted this to be a prominent um, shade in this look and to really nicely blend out. So honestly, in this whole look, this is the shade that I took the most time to apply and get down. Um, I did kind of go way too high on this eye so I will fix that in just a second but I'm just gonna work on blending her out and if you do like I did like you can see the the shade is just way too high up I ended up setting my brow with a brow bone highlight so what I'm just gonna do is just go right back into that shade and we're just going to blend down and there you go. And if you don't set your brow bone but you still want to do this, just use a, sh a matte shade that is close to your skin tone. And it's the very same effect. So we're just going to go right back into that purple. It's a lot better now. And we're just going to keep going back and forth until your girl gets the effect that she wants because she just was not paying attention. How are you guys? Today was a very stressful day at work today for me. So I did not intend to record, um, even though I do want to get through these three looks, but I got some new jewelry today and I just told myself, push through. So that is what I'm doing today. I am just pushing through. I hope you guys' day is going well when I'm recording this. I hope you guys are enjoying my traveling in Halloween series. 
I know I haven't done too many like actual Halloween themed things, but I didn't want to overly do that in case you weren't a person who was really into Halloween or anything like that. Now I'm just going to reach into a random black. Unfortunately, there's no black in this palette. And although, yes, um, like I said in my uh, in my first impression, the brown does do a really good job at deepening. I wanted this to be a very nice, deep, sultry, like fall look. And to me, fall looks have a black. Somewhere, somehow, there is a nice, deep, rich black in fall looks. So I decided that today was going to be a day where I kind of put myself back into the fall mood with my eyeshadow. And I also still wanted to record with this um, palette. So this is kind of the compromise that I gave myself and I'm just really enjoying it. As you saw, I put the majority of the product on the outer side, outer, um, outer edge or end of my eye because that's where I want the most pigmentation, the most impact. And then I just slowly blended it in to the inner part of my eye. And what I will do is just slowly blend back and forth between the brush that has the black and the brush that has the purple, just so that there's a nice seamless blend. I'm also just going to go ahead and take this opportunity to apply this on my lower lash line. And I don't mind a very um, low lower lash line. so. Don't worry about that, but if you do, then just take that into account when you're doing that part. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just go back into that brush that I had the purple on. I did just pick up just a little bit of product. might have went a little too low. Oh, what is me? What is me? What is me? So, yeah, this is actually looking really, really good. Just want to fix this part. There we go. Have you guys watched any Halloween movies yet? Um, I am recording this pretty early in the month of October, but I've only watched one Halloween movie. I've just been busy, okay? Your girl has been busy, and so she hasn't had the time, but the next movie I'm probably gonna watch is um, Nightmare Before Christmas. I've already watched Hocus Pocus, and for me, because I've already memorized that movie, I had it on in the background and I also skipped around to my favorite parts because that's just, that's how I roll. Okay, so like I've been doing lately, I'm just going to go ahead and go into my NYX glitter glue and I am going to go ahead and cut my crease. Like I said, it has nothing to do with this palette or wanting to give this palette better leg up than other products that I've been using lately. I just realized that I have this product in my collection and I stopped using it and I don't want to stop using it. And I don't want it to expire before I finish it. So the girl is making an effort, a knowledgeable effort, if you will, to really just put in some work to do it. Oh, also, yesterday was the day I recorded my first look, I'm pretty sure. And I talked about the Butte Bean collaboration with Strobe Cosmetics. So when I came to you guys, I said that I was not able to pick it up um, because the pre-order sold out. First of all, yes, I was disappointed. Like, you know, I want to support her. I wanted the palette. I wanted to try it, all of that jazz. But I definitely was not on the tip like a lot of people who were like telling her. They were in the DMs and the comments of people's posts like, oh, she needs to hire people. This is ridiculous. If it's that ridiculous, find your way somewhere else because you can make your own palette with single shadows. 
don't like be disrespectful she's a single person creating these products from hand so i mean it's like it's it's a love brain it's a love child give her a break so anyways let me tell you i'm using this um shimmer and so for me my main frustration was just the fact that I quite literally had the product twice in my cart and it got sold out while it was in my cart. That was my main frustration. And for me, I have a frustration when that happens with whatever release that I try and purchase and it happens. To me, there should be some form of um, of coding that is created in which once the product is in somebody's cart, it can't be sold to somebody else. So that was my thing. But regardless, um, on yesterday, the brand owner and the brand owner and Butte Bean came together and decided that they were going to release the palette in a kind of in a continuous pre-sale for those who were unable to pick it up on I guess the very first pre-sale. So I did end up picking it up personally and I'm happy. Yeah I may not be getting it in the first rotation but at least I know I will be getting it. Now for my inner corner I'm actually going to mix both of the shimmers um, and I'm just going to do a very small dab of the darker duochrome and a lot more of the lighter one because I want that duochrome to be in effect but I want it to be lighter in tone. Um, so yeah, that was my thing. So hopefully I didn't come across as anything other than that. I. I just wanted I just wanted to have my palette in reserve. I just wanted to know the girl was going to come to me whenever the brand had it in stock and whenever they were able to get it to me. I am a veteran when it comes to purchasing from indie brands. So it does not bother me that I have to wait months to get a palette. That's not my problem. My problem is I know me and I will forget to purchase it again or I'll forget to set an alarm for when they relaunched it um if I did not get it that day. So yeah that being said this is pretty much the look i'm just gonna hop off camera really quickly i'm gonna finish up my eyes putting my liner my mascara some lip products so that i have nothing on my lips really quickly and then i will zoom out well I'll let you guys see the finished look i'll zoom out tell you guys all the random things on my face and we will get into look number three okay guys so this is the finished look i must say this came out a lot better than i thought it could sometimes i have the thought in my head and then i try and implement it and it comes out trash trash so on my lips i used an inglot lipstick in 450 i thought this was a brown but i feel like it's purple now who knows either way i like the color the application not so much this is a very very matte actual bullet um so you definitely need to warm it up with your lips so if you are not about that i wouldn't clock it and it makes sense because inglot is a um is a professional brand so they probably are thinking about how to make the product extremely matte for photography and to last longer so that's probably why of course on my eyes i have my caladios palette like i said i used a black my black happened to come from the juvie's place saharan palette highlighter today i used a palette or a shade from my dream palette and i went into the shade unicorn i think it came out beautifully it's a beautiful kind of red purple ish color blush today i ended up using my dior blush in the shade poison matte and i'm really happy i was able to pick this up this is like a pinky purple mauve ish shade really happy about this i didn't apply too too much so you guys probably can't even check that i put too much on but i did apply it bronzer today i used my covergirl full spectrum bronzer and i think this is the only shade but this is maybe f ebony that's the shade um and then in my waterline i used a full white from nyx in the shade white smoke so that's pretty much all that i put on my face if you have any questions feel free to sound off down below 
earrings are brand new from undoubtedly mad i will have my earrings linked down below and i also got a new ring this is a thumb ring i love halloween i love bones it's my whole career path and all that and i found this on etsy and i thought this was a insanely cool ring and it's actually made by hand and you can actually get your particular size so i really like that like this is a permanent size for me and it's not gonna like change sizing I I'm also pretty sure that this is like real silver so it's not gonna rust off like some of my cheaper rings and I've been slowly trying to replace the cheaper rings the only cheap ring I have that I still wear now is this one eventually I'll replace it once it rusts off so that's pretty much all I got for you guys today I'm really happy with the products that I use I'm really happy with this look I think it's really nice it really shows some variety and I'm sure you guys have a black in your collection so if you have a black and you wanted to do kind of a deeper sultrier look for fall or even even or even winter you could check out this look so yeah i will see you guys in my next look for look number three alrighty guys so we are here to do the third and final look for this three looks one palette as you can see i've pretty much done my base um and i've already applied my eyeshadow base so we are just going to jump right on into this um and today i'm going to really just focus in on using both purples in my crease um, and then using the metallics because I used both browns in my crease before. So yeah, that's how we finna do it today. So, gotta figure out what brush I'm gonna use. Okay, I'm gonna use this one. So first, let's just go into the lighter of the two purples. This is more of like the actual lavender shade in this palette. We're just gonna pick up a nice amount and we're just gonna brush this all in the crease. One more transition color, but or transition area, but you, you know what I mean. Y'all feel me. I did also sculpt um, out my lower part of my brow, and I set that with a shade as well. So do keep that in mind. Okay, so really nice beginning. I liked it to be really nice and light. I didn't want it to be too, too harsh and I'm happy where I got it. So I'm gonna take a really, really smaller um, compactor brush. This is actually a scratchier brush too. And this is a Morphe M514. There is a reason to use a Morphe brush, but it's not always. Then I'm gonna go into the more bright, um, a vibrant purple and we are going to deepen out my crease. And I'm putting this actually in my crease, so I'm bringing this a lot lower than I had that first lavender shade. And then just slowly but surely just blending this up. And this is looking really, really nice. I am just bringing this, as you can see, to my outer V because this is going to be my outer V shade. All right. So I really like that. I honestly don't even feel like I need to go back in with that um, transition brush to really blend it out more seamlessly. If you do, feel free to take this time to do that. Um, we're gonna have a very, very simple crease and we are just gonna go hop right in to putting on my lid shade. But I need to find a brush. I guess I could use this. Okay, I'm actually gonna use this brush and this is the Refer 02 brush. 
Um, if you're wondering, Ruffer is bringing out this line in like 50% off this month. I've already gotten the email to let me know like if I want to buy anything, I can. I think I'm good. So I'm personally not going to. I have the brushes that I like from that line. But in case you have been wanting to get a Ruffer brush, I would say this is the perfect time because they're dropping them for 50% off. So... I'm just cutting my lid. It might not be the best cut, one, because I'm so far away from my mirror, but also this is not the, this isn't the most um, structured brush. It's a little fluffier, which comes in handy sometimes, but in this instance, not so much. Anyways, now what I'm gonna do is just apply a little bit of that more vibrant purple on the outer edge, just so that it can seamlessly blend um, from my shimmer to that outer edge shade. Okay, then we're gonna go back in with this shade. And yesterday I used the a lighter shimmer all over my lid. So I think I'm gonna go back in with the darker shimmer. And fun fact, I realized when I was about to take my makeup off yesterday that the lighter shimmer is a dual chrome too. So this palette is just duochrome heaven um, and that duochrome is like an orange shift which it's it's spectacular if you see it um, and that was the first time I had actually seen it honestly. I guess I just never paid enough attention to that particular shade to see it because I was none the wiser but yeah, we are just going to keep applying this. I just want to make sure this blend is nice and seamless. That looks really, really pretty. I really like that. So what I'm going to do now is do my lower lash line and for my lower for my actual waterline, I think I'm gonna go deep. So I'm gonna put on my Patrick Star black liner. So nice and deep and sultry. And then I'm just gonna do the two crease colors. So this is the more vibrant purple. Ow, that went right into my eyeball. And then we're gonna go for the lighter, more lavender purple. And we're just gonna connect up as always. Really nice situation now inner corner highlight i'm just gonna go into that other dual chrome like i said and i'm gonna try and get the effect on camera because honestly the only reason i saw it is because i happen to have a mirror in my bathroom which it's it comes out to the side of my face so i can actually see things like that real closely in my mirror but this is pretty much the finished look I think it looks really really cool really really subtle and I like it so what I'm gonna do is just hop off camera I'm gonna do this on my other eye I'm also gonna finish up my liner mascara and I will be back in just a second to show you guys my finished look alrighty guys so I just wanted to show you guys the finished look And this is it. This is the finished look. I am really, really enjoying how this look came out. Big ticket items that are on my face. I have my NARS blush in Liberté. I have a highlighter from my Dream palette. I used, what did I use today? I used Ether, Etherol. I used Etherol today. Lips, of course, toast and butter. I had to do it once every three looks, one palette. Um, and then everything else is normal. Um, earrings, these are new. I will try my best to link them down below in case you are interested. They are the same brand that Butte Bean um, wears. 
that she found these at. I, get, I got the exact same pair. Um, so yeah, this is the finished look. I'm really, really enjoying this look and I have enjoyed this palette. So let me just gather up my thoughts. So this is my three looks one palette, like I said, with this lavender, lunar lavender palette. And what I will say is that for me, the metallics are beautiful, nicely foiled, just like the metallics in my other palette that I have from them. I will say I am very, very surprised that both of these are dual chromes. I actually want to try and get the dual chrome effect for you guys on camera and now that I swatch it I actually do see it so let me wipe off my hand I'm gonna put autofocus on and we're gonna see if we can get it to go did you see it right there right there right there It's super hard to see it. Oh, I hate, I hate that you guys weren't able to really see it, but it is a really, really cool dual chrome. Both of them are dual chromes. So I really do enjoy that. I actually honestly enjoy the matte formula as well. I enjoy the matte formula in this palette a lot, a lot more than I enjoyed the matte formula in my VR Neon palette. Um, as for the color scheme, I will say, right, I really enjoyed these two shades. I even enjoyed this dark brown. For me, if I could have made this like my perfect palette, I would have taken out, taken out this palette or this shade and I would have put a black. I know for other people, like, they wouldn't have transition shades, but for me, that would be perfect. That would be the perfect color scheme for moi. Am I mad that I have this palette in my collection? Yeah, no. I'm very happy that I have this palette in my collection. And honestly, after I did my first impressions, I texted my best friend like, I, I want more. I want them all. Um, and honestly, this will probably be a brand that I have on my Black Friday um, wish list. And depending on the sale that they provide, I may go ahead and pick up one or two more palettes in their range because I am, I have always been interested in the color schemes, but at one point or another, I was either, um, I was either on a no buy or something like that. There was always a reason why I did not pick up more palettes. And then after I tried that VR Neon palette, I was like, mm, I don't really like this brand. I don't know what people talk about. But I will say, after trying this palette, I can understand what other influencers were actually talking about when they were saying that they love the Caladios formula. So for me, this palette hit it out the park. Um, I will just talk about very, very briefly. So when I bought this, I also bought a highlighter and a contour palette. I just want to talk about them very, very briefly. So the contour palette I have been using off camera pretty much a lot more than on camera. Um, and I will say that, like I said in that in, in the first impressions, this is darker and shows up cooler toned on my complexion than this does. So for me, I would reach for this more so as a bronzer than this, and this is okay. No fuss, no muss. So for me, I can get my bronzer brush in this. I just have to pinch my bronzer brush. So, you know, it's not the my favorite thing to do, but I have done it. I'm actually wearing this as a bronzer today and I think it looks fine. This, I like I said, it just, on my complexion, it pulls a lot cooler toned. So for me, I would use this as a contour. And for that reason, I probably will never hit pan in this. I don't really contour. It's just not a thing that is in your girl's repertoire. So overall, I think this is a nice palette. I think I like that it's deep and it, there's really some depth there. But for me, I don't see this becoming a favorite face palette. It just, I don't see it. And then also, I did want to point out in my first impressions, I talked about potentially getting the tan or the medium version of this. That one is way too light. It is too light. Well, it's not that it's too light, but it's buildable on Karen Harris's complexion. And if it's just buildable on her complexion, it's going to be non-existent on mine. So your girl's going to stick with this and be happy with this. But I would say that I think they, they would... 
I will say that I think Caladius would benefit from having a fourth palette because in my opinion there's quite a huge dip from that second palette to this palette and I feel like I would really really enjoy that third one along with this one as well. So for me I'm happy I have this in my collection. Would I repurchase this? No but I'm happy I got the curiosity out of myself and I purchased it. As for the Mars Melter highlighter, love it. Absolutely glad I got this. Nothing, not mad at it at all. So overall, when it comes to this purchase and of course this palette, I am happy with everything that I picked up. If I had to recommend one thing for you guys, I'd recommend the highlighter. If I had to recommend two things, or I said the highlighter and pointed to the palette, I'd recommend the palette. If I had to recommend two things for you guys, I'd recommend the palette and the highlighter. The last thing I would recommend, honestly, is the, um, the contour palette. And I recommended this a second only because I feel like you can get this dual chrome effect somewhere else. I just don't personally feel like I have it in my collection, which is why I picked it up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think I have anything else um, that I wanted to say. Sound off down below if you guys have any opinions that you guys would like me to know. Let me know if you have a Caladios palette that you want me to test out and try or one of your favorites. I would love to know. I want to know you guys' favorites because then they'll most likely be my favorites. I'm thinking I'm going to pick up the green one. I think that's the one that is next on my list from their brand. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, black lives do matter. Please don't forget to wear a mask. Please don't forget to register and vote. Please stay safe and I'll